In this quick After Effects tutorial, I will teach you how to make this amazing looking text effect. And this one is just super cool looking and you can use it in title animations or basically anywhere where text is needed. So I'd say let's just go right into it and learn the really sick technique which you can apply basically anywhere. So let's just make a new composition and first of all also add the background and then obviously our text. I'll just type an animation and we can just hit S on the keyboard to scale this up a bit. And we can also go to the Align tab to align it with the settings here. So it's actually right in the center. And yeah, this should look good. Now we basically just need two effects, which are super simple. And the first one is the CC ball action effect. So, well, ball action. So this one, which you can find under simulation as well. And then you can just apply it on the layer by pulling it up here. And then, as you can see, this will look a bit weird. So we have to change a few settings. And yeah, let's first of all bring down the grid spacing to 2. And let's also bring down the ball size to something like 30 or 35. And now, as you can see, this already looks yeah really good. And yeah, that's it basically for the look. So now we have these yeah dots in here which look kind of cool, but in the example you could see that it is also animated, so it's moving around and just looks way more interesting. And this one is easily achievable by adding another effect, which is the fractal noise effect. And you can just apply it, make sure to move it uh, above the CC ball action thing, so it's on top here. And yeah, now you can see it already gets into the right direction I'd say but yeah we can adjust a few settings to make it look even better and first of all I'll increase the contrast to 300 and also open up the transform setting to access the scale and also put in a really high value here like 700 maybe and now you can see it's just a bit more yeah a bit bigger and not that super detailed which just looks uh, way better in my opinion and yeah that's it basically already but it's not moving so we have to animate this and this can be easily done by just keyframing the evolution setting so we could just go to the beginning of our animation and put in a keyframe in here by clicking the setting and then we can go to the end and then we can just increase the evolution and now as you can see this will move around and just look really cool and yeah that's it basically um but we may take another change which is um, changing the mode of this one because now we have this fractal noise texture this one and basically this consists of like the the yeah, brighter parts and the more darker parts but we actually want the darker parts to be transparent so we can change the mode from normal to add which will just yeah basically hide the black parts and yeah now this should look really cool as you can see, this is animated and just looks amazing. But I think sometimes it even looks good if you duplicate this one by pressing Ctrl D, just like this. Then it's first of all a bit stronger, which may be yeah, what you want. And another important step is for this one, we could now change the overflow setting in here to something like soft clamp. And then you can see um, there will always be like a bit of these uh, particles or a bit of these dots and not nothing but if you think that's too much you could also press T on the keyboard to access the opacity setting and just turn down this layer a bit to something like 50% um, or yeah so it's not that strong but yeah now we have just a more yeah solid look if we would now hide this you can see it's a bit weaker but that's just completely up to you and yeah that's it already i hope you enjoyed the result and see you next time